Welcome back to another episode of the podcast, ladies and gentlemen. This is number 30. 30, 30, 30. 30. Yeah, so before we get started, you guys make sure you uh-huh. hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you can see every time we drop an episode. Again, hit the subscribe button. Most definitely. We're here at 9029 Liberty Road, Randallstown, Maryland. The owner of TNT Auto Detail and the sponsor of Reason to Society is in the building with us today, ladies and gentlemen. I am the real Red Nose. And I am Tierra, but you guys know you can call me T. And this is Reasons. Uh huh. Reasons. Uh huh. Reasons to Society. Reasons. Uh huh. Reasons. Uh huh. So 30 30, huh? Yes, We've been man. working. We've been yes, working. We have. It's a, looking back, it's been exciting. Yeah. Thank you to all the people who have supported <laughs> us this whole entire time. For, Shout out for, to for, y'all. For, for reasons. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, the day is. Martin Luther King's birthday. I know. Shout out MLK. Yeah, shout out. Shout out. So, what's uh, some of the thoughts that come to your mind when you think of Martin Luther King? When I think of Martin Luther King, I think of activists. I think of the reason why there's interracial couples today and it's not like <laughs> due to raping and going behind people's families back and doing things to them that you're not supposed to be doing them after you enslaved them. But that's a whole other conversation. Uh-huh. But yeah, that's what I think of. Just getting people together and getting us to look past skin color for real. Word up. Yeah. I think about discipline, you know what I'm saying? I think about leadership, you know, things like that. Uh, how much you think things have changed since then, since, you know, the Million Man Marches and the I Had a Dreams? Uh, I don't think, I think it changed a little bit, like, I would say a crumb of a change, to yeah, be honest with you, right, because right. we're still dying, and yeah, yeah, yeah. we just now getting off on his birthday, like... Mm-hmm. I think it's a whole <laughs> bunch of Band-Aids. Exactly. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Like, like but the overall, mm-hmm. it really hasn't changed too much. You no. feel me? They just put band aids on everything. Exactly. But definitely, happy birthday to Martin Luther King. Happy birthday. Um, I think we're gonna go and get into the asking for a friend. What you got for us today, T? You know what? Before we get into asking for a friend, I'm just gonna say I really love this segment because <laughs> shout out to the people who anonymously sent us their um, questions that for they want reasons. answered. You know, and like I said, we're still doing that. So you guys. Inbox us at Reason to Society or hit us up on the IG at Reason to Society. Most definitely. And, uh, yes, we will still anonymously answer your questions during this segment. But for that anonymous friend, uh-huh. today um, my friend, uh, he basically is planning on proposing to his girlfriend. Okay. But the only issue is that the dad do not bang with him at all. Like, he does not like him. Like, he probably doesn't even want him to marry his daughter. So, he's trying to figure out, should he just still ask for the proposal? Ask the and father ask the father, for yeah, the like blessing. Like, for the blessing or just slide it over behind his back. Do that still go down like, these days, dude? I mean, I guess good guys, respectful, honorable men. Yeah, then he should do that. He should stand on that. Yeah, go even holler at the dad pops. might be like, nah. So what if the dad then said no, like, he still do it? Yeah, then it's like you got to talk to her and tell her what happened. Like, I talked to your dad and wanted his blessings, but he ain't rocking with it. You feel me? Then I guess it's on her, like... If she still wants... I mean, of course she still want to marry him. You better. I mean, a situation not the same. So you saying just do it anyway? Some people pick their family over everything, no matter That's how true. what the flaw is. You That's feel what I'm saying? Like, like, my dad, my dad don't, don't like you. Want it, so, no. My dad's saying you can't marry me, then you can't marry me. <laughs> yeah, man. But you're saying that my friends should most definitely... Still slide and ask for that proposal without asking for the dad. Yeah, go on. I mean, you should ask for the dad permission if that's what you want to do. But if you feel like he don't like you and all this whole other stuff, it's going. You should go and ask her. Y'all two adults, you know, and then she can break the news to pops and the head. What if he asked her, like, propose to her, and or ask her should he should he ask? Because then that's ruining the freaking surprise. That's what I'm saying. You should just go in and propose then, right? And then she can yeah, break down yeah, the situation to pop. But you just said yes. Because <laughs> we're not about to tell her that you're trying to propose. And then should I tell the dad? Because that's not who he proposes to. Uh, so, a friend, we're going to go with you asking the dad. But if he say no, we don't really care, right? We're still going we're gonna to still ask her to marry us, right? Exactly. I mean, that's going to start a whole bunch of friction. You feel what I'm saying? I think but that's he just. still get the woman he wants and she love him because she with him and she going to say yes. Yeah, that can turn out any type of way, so I don't know. But uh, I got—I also have a friend. Uh, I got a homeboy. 
he was in a long term relationship, but he was on the verge of breaking up with his girlfriend. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like he was moving on. He actually found another young lady that he was interested in. Mm-hmm. But the girl that he was in a relationship with had a tragic loss in her family. And she didn't have too many people around her, so he felt like he should have been there for her support system. Mm-hmm. So he kept coming around, kept, you know, through the grieving period. Right, right, but he started right, talking right. to another female in the meantime, mm-hmm. you know. And now he wants to know, like, it's going a little too far. Like, he thinks this might potentially mess it up for with the new girl, you yeah. feel what I'm saying? Like, how long, like, should the pity or sympathy or empathy or whatever go on until he should just cut it off? And um, how long how long has he been doing this like empathy sympathy role? Oh, it's been like six months now. You feel what I'm saying? And I think he should cut it off now. Yeah, because like she now wants to switch it to friends. You know what I mean? Like we ain't gonna be together. At least be there for me when I need this. You know, answer yeah, your calls. Yeah, you know, nah, trying to be an mm-hmm. attachment at this I point. I think he should just cut it off now because you don't really have no real attachment to this girl. You don't have kids, you're not married. There's no real, real attachment other than her feelings. Mm-hmm. And your feelings for her feelings. Yeah, y'all got so history like, together. You know, certain people like got history feelings. together. You don't want to just cut them off like that. You don't, but you, you can't use your feelings all the time to actually try to maneuver in life. Sometimes you got to take your feelings out of it and think with a clear mind. Because yeah. it's like you're trying to move forward with your life, but you want to bring more baggage to that new relationship. Then you expect the new girl to think, oh, okay, you're just helping somebody who's weak-minded at the moment and can't, you know, get herself through mm-hmm. life situations. Right. And you're supposed to sit there and babysit it, but you're not together. And you don't have children with her? Absolutely not. So it's like, or how long are you going to babysit this ex <laughs> exactly. before you move on with your life? So, friend, mm. it's time to let go. Okay, straight cut off. Mm-hmm. All right, friend, you heard it from T yourself. Go and cut it off. You dig? Uh, We're here in 2021 now. You feel what I'm saying? It's officially the beginning of a new decade. A lot of people thought 2020 was the beginning of a new decade, but it's really 2021, you know? And uh, as we look back at the past, you know, the past decade has been so many advances, you know, as far as technology goes, mm-hmm. you feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. G- going all the way back to the first car, the first airplane, the first spaceship, because allegedly we went to what to the to the moon. We went to the moon, you know, allegedly to uh, computers, the cell phones. You know what I mean? So I wanted to ask you, going into this new decade, what's the top three advancements technology-wise that you think are you expecting to see within the next decade? thinking one like teleporting in some sort of way like I don't know how it's going to happen mm. but being able to like teleport yourself or objects physically or, or maybe like computer wise like with your phone or like you, you know was it the movie Clueless or what movie no it wasn't Clueless I forgot what movie that was but you're, you were able to like pick things with the phone and like things that I just really imagine things being more high tech like, and you not needing to really physically move to do it whether it's like, I know they have like the kind of. What's that called? Like, like a hologram? That's what you're yeah, talking like about? Yeah, like things like that hologram uh-huh. and then making okay. it appear. I feel like that's going to be like really, really crazy. Uh huh. I think Alexa, she might have had kids by that time. Oh, you know, man. Person to be Sheesh. In the house. She'll probably have kids by that time. They'll have a certain name, but they're, they'll <laughs> allow you to be able to regulate, like making your car come in and warm up before you the doors open to your house uh-huh. and your, you remember the movie Pee Wee? yeah how everything was just like mechanically able to do whatever it needed to do for the day mm-hmm. like I just imagine Alexa's kids being able to do that word up us. Alexa hey, kids I this out so <laughs> I got my BMW yesterday when I got in it said nice to see you today <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> nice to see you see, today. Our sponsor, sponsor said he got his BMW and it says, nice to see you today. Like, you see what, what I mean? Like, exactly. Like, your car like, okay. <laughs> your car, see your car, about your uh, They got a real all relationship these, at this, this point. AI <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's definitely. Right, they got to keep you coming back. That's what it is. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to say, um, I don't even, I'm going to say all of that. <laughs> That's just kind of all like my top three for real guys, but like Word robotic up. things, basically. Yeah. Yeah. What about like flying cars? I know Uber. Yeah. Uber said something about like they were supposed to be having flying cars or vehicles yeah. coming soon or but something like that. I feel like that was supposed to come in early 2000s, Me too. right? Like we've been waiting 21 exactly. years for these flying I think, cars. I think we're definitely behind as far as flying yeah. cars at this point. Yeah. So definitely, uh, I wouldn't get one either. I ain't really interested. You interested in a flying more, car? I probably would, but after, after the accident rate goes down. Exactly. <laughs> What would the traffic be like up there? Would it be the like, same thing, but up high? 
and you better hope you're still not <laughs> driving down low because they're going to crash you. Yeah, they're going to find a way to definitely monetize off of that. Can you imagine assets in the ass? Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. That's why I say you shouldn't be driving down low anymore. Uh-huh. I think uh, living on Mars, because they trying to get to Mars, you know, bad. We've been touching oh, on that. Know. You know, yeah. I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm expecting yeah. it because ever since I was a kid, they've been talking about going to Mars, moving to Mars. Mars. We out of here. Peace out. You feel right. me? They've been talking about that since I was a kid. A cashless society. Yeah. Chips and I feel like that's on the right. Right. That's on the rise. You know, mm-hmm. like that may be coming up soon. Uh, mind reading. I think some sort of mind reading device, just like you said with the Alexa. I think, like, you know, your phone is already picking up. I your like, algorithms of your emotions and everything. Yeah. Like you're pretty much creating a robot you yeah. on the internet. Yeah, <laughs> becoming more robotic yeah. as a human. Yeah. I think some sort of technology, as far as that goes, is definitely mm-hmm. coming up on the rise. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, that's my top three. That's my top three. Uh, with that said, I think we're going to go ahead and get into the sponsors. TNT Auto Detailing here with you today on this 30th episode of reasons reasons to society so i'm just so happy to be a part of with these guys and going down their journey with them um i came along in episode 17 so if you want to go back and check out that episode please go check that out that's me episode 17 (laughs) um but we're 30 episodes in and we are really making things happen today i want to talk about calibers a lot of people don't really know exactly what this is but what this is, this is like a style that people are doing. So what happens is people like to paint their calibers different colors. Um, red, blue, neon, green, whatever you want to do. It makes your car look hot. A lot of uh, fancy people like doing that type of stuff. So stop by 929 Liberty Road, y'all. TNT All Detail is where it is. We have the uh, sealant services still available. We have the painted calibers. We're painting the rims. So we got a lot of new things coming this year for TNT Auto Detail. 2021 is going to be our year, and we are going mm-hmm. to the moon oh, this yeah. year. Trust me, y'all. So I want to just step in the way, talk real quick about my calibers. Book your appointment now. Appointments are coming in um, and everything. And um, we're going to go right back to reasons. <laughs> and with that said, I think we're going to go ahead and get all right, so today I wanted to talk about um, manifesting. Okay. I know a lot of people probably don't even know what it is and they just kind of hopped on the whole, you know how things trend and everybody wants to be along with a trend, but like manifesting, like do you believe in manifesting? Uh, you know what manifesting is? Yeah, you uh, guided me to believe in manifestation. Yeah, yeah that's you brought it to my attention. Like yeah. you talk about that a lot. Like see your journey. Yeah. So, um, do you believe that the mind is like a powerful thing? Yes, Whether most definitely. It using it in a positive way. Oh yeah, you gonna get like the energy. Your your brain is power. Like your right, thoughts like is power. So know. when you act on your thoughts, even your thoughts, but when you start acting on your thoughts, you're gonna receive the same energy. Like you're gonna right. be around a crowd that you want. You're going to find yourself around, like, you're going to attract that same energy. So do you think if you think bad thoughts, you can attract, like, bad things? You know, Most definitely. I just feel like energy like is that. real, you know? Yeah. I think energy is super real. You're going to receive the same energy that you put out. Yeah. I think manifesting is a really big thing, and I think it, it's like your mind. I don't think people really realize how powerful your mind is. Like, you can say the same negative thing over and over every day, like, Nothing good ever happens to me. Nothing good ever happens to me. And then when bad things happen, people are like, see, nothing good ever happens to me. And I just look at people like that sometimes, like, so you don't think anything with your energy and the things you're repeating in your head has anything to do with uh-huh. what you're, you know, bringing back to you and right. your vibration. Like, so I don't know. I think that, I think manifesting in your mind is really a powerful thing. And you can be like, they, you know how they say people who have like the poverty mindset mm-hmm. and then you have a mindset of thinking rich like that's a real thing that goes back to like the things that you manifest and the things that you repeat to yourself like so I think people should really work more on really saying what they really want in life and putting it out in the universe and letting it come back to them because that is a real thing like people don't think it's real but it's okay. real okay so that's what you uh, mean by, by manifesting yeah uh, like I manifesting that too you know um, I asked the Lord for some things this year and so far this business has been doing well because of it. 19 you did. I'm on my way on my fifth caliber. Straight up. So, 
what you speak you shall have yeah <laughs> seriously it's all about but you got to believe it too and of course put action behind yes. what you yes. want like you can't just be like universe or god or, or whatever you want to call it you know give me this <laughs> and then just never expect to receive it i mean only respect only expect to receive it based off yelling that out loud and it's like it takes action behind what you really want you got to like work action. on to it <laughs> <laughs> most of <laughs> it definitely. takes action um <laughs> You know another thing? I think when you're a kid, people, like, kill your dreams. Early. Uh-huh, yeah. What age would you say your dreams got killed? Uh, I'll say, like, high, uh, last year high school. High school. I'll say. Probably, like, supposed to be freshman in college. Okay. Between graduating high school. What like, was your dream? Uh, played professional sports, but now looking back on it, like, it was only crushed because I didn't have the right guidance. Mm-hmm. Just, you feel me? If I was in a basketball, somebody should have told me about coaching, training, mm-hmm. scouting, yeah, like all the statisticians, something that surrounds me around something that I love to do. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's why I feel like my dream was crushed. Not specifically me not making it to the NBA or, you know, mm-hmm. anything like that. It's just like not I was never right exactly never had the right people around me to guide me towards my true yeah. passion, you know, yeah. my dreams. Yeah, um, say like 11 or 12 and I don't know I think that's when I realized that life wasn't this fantasy or reality that I thought as a younger child Mm -hmm. and I don't know I think that's when I kind of was like (laughs) (laughs) like you know this is the world that you were playing with your dolls and all this other stuff like this is just one little world but there's there's a real world outside of this you know what Mm -hmm. I mean like I don't know I guess that's when I kind of got my dreams crushed or realized like Life is really not oh, you're living out. You're just living in your own little bubble. Bubble, yeah, like a, or seeing things on TV and things that's why, like that's life. That's why I don't blame a lot of people for being naive, for real, and mm-hmm. want to live in their own bubble. Like mm-hmm. they know things is going on outside, but they don't even want to believe it for real. They want to live in their own bubble and stay naive. You yeah, know what I'm because saying? it's easier than dealing with the real reality of the world. And I think that's what a lot of um, Caucasians do with their children. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Because I feel like they live in a bubble, and that's why they don't understand the other races, because they live in their bubble. And it's like, if you live in your bubble all day, and your parents teach you this certain thing, so when you go out and you see something unfamiliar, it's like, okay, you're, and my parents or other people in my culture told me this about that specific type of race. So it's like, I have this, I already have something in my head set on how you people are. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and it's like they really do live in a bubble. People live in a bubble more than they believe that they live in yeah, a bubble. Yeah, yeah, I definitely agree with that. A lot of people don't want to deal with something until it hits their front door. Like, they'll see it going on all day, every day. You feel what I'm saying? As long as it ain't affecting their household, they don't really Excuse care me. about it. <laughs> Bless you. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I agree. I, and I think that people should just be more um, less judgmental. I think everybody judges everybody too much. I think we follow the news too much. <laughs> I think we need to kind of like, I don't know, just get more into focusing on what we want out of life and not what people expect of us and what we truly, truly want, especially as far as like what your passion is, like run after it, chase it, find it, hold on to it, never let it go, and don't mm-hmm. let anybody tell you anything differently. And it don't matter if you don't have all the tools and resources. Clearly, they'll uh-huh. find you. You're going to get it. You're yes. going to get it. You know what we learned? <laughs> the, the, the more you help yourself, the more... Other people want to help you? Most definitely. Yep. <laughs> they see a vision, you feel what I'm saying? You putting the effort behind it. They're like, I think I want to invest in you. Yep. I see what you got going on. So, eventually, like, don't deter yourself. Yeah, because I think, honestly, even though this is on, like, a smaller scale of where uh, Reason to Society is going, but we started in our living room, and we said we wanted a <laughs> studio. And this is technically our studio, like it is. This is our sponsored shop. You know, we get nuggets daily when we come around, and we're able to shoot our podcast here. It's like manifesting. You know, we God gave us the resources. We didn't know what we was doing when we first got started. We had an iPad and we had notes and we hit record. Yeah, then. And here we are. We manifested so much, and this is just the beginning. So, God, you gotta manifest. For reasons. For reasons. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so we about to go ahead and get into the special shout out segment. Uh, you got any special shout-outs for us today? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shout-out Triple D, Window 10. Yes. We're here now. 
Uh, he's like he's a part of the TNT family. Uh, we got the honor to see his work yesterday. He was working mm-hmm. on a Tesla with the suicide mm-hmm. doors yes, in the back. That John was so slicked dope. out. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Hard working man. Make sure you check out his work on Instagram at DTD77. So my special shout out is going to go to someone that I went to high school with. Uh, her name is Marsha. She has um, a business. It's called Paulette's Legacy. She deals with beauty, cosmetics, and personal care. She does natural hair. She does braids. She does wigs. She does micro shading and waxing. Uh, you guys can reach her at 410-357-1740. And um, I also drop her location in her Gmail below. So y'all go check that out. And you can also follow her on Instagram at Paulette's Legacy LLC. Yeah, it is. Okay, so the next segment is, y'all know, my favorite. Pick your poison. All right, so would you rather come home to somebody breaking in your house? <laughs> like you out, you had a great day. You're on your way home. Somebody has already broken in, but you know they're breaking. You, they broke in by the looks of your door, like stuff everywhere. So they somewhere in your house, clearly. So would you rather come home to somebody breaking in your house or be inside of like any store? Why is getting robbed? Like any store? Any store, like a gas station. It oh, got to uh, be something small though, like a gas. It can't be like a Walmart. It got to be something real little, like a okay. gas station or corner store. A bodega, shout out to the people in the, uh, the cities, inner cities. <laughs> yeah, something small like that. Or you walking in on somebody, like, <laughs> like robbing your house. So then you can catch them, you can walk in while they're coming out <laughs> with your stuff, with the weapon, with everything. Or you, like, in that store with the robber. Which one are you choosing? <laughs> Which one are you choosing? Huh? <laughs> go with the store because I feel like it's going to be more victims than me. If, what? You know, if it gets that bad, it, I'm just not the only if person. If it gets that, that bad. What do you I, mean by that? If somebody robbing the store, okay, so do you so 50% so, chance of living. So you want to be the superhero. So you're going to see somebody <laughs> rob me a house and go in there, hey, you, this is my stuff. Okay, so look at it like this. I feel like if they come in the store, I can be somewhere where I cannot be targeted. What if they say right? specifically wait, 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 you? You're wait, being no. targeted. Specifically <laughs> you. Everybody else can go. Yeah. So basically, I feel like if there's multiple people in the store, then the chances of me being the chosen one mm-hmm, will be mm-hmm. slimmer. But if it's my house, it's only me. So you just supposed to let them dip, right? Or you call the them robber, a couch? What so you what doing? If, what you doing? Superhero so, so, super so look, so you come home and they're coming out gun in the hand TV or whatever else they want under their arm and you, they know it's your house because you right there on the steps it's like opening the door in one of them situations would you rather be that what would you do like that's whatever they took that's the answer you don't know if they might shoot you though they could do anything like you're now a witness to the house that's been robbed you don't know none yours. of that right exactly right so in the store is more people it's just you at your front door and they know it's your front door Cause you the face they see in the pictures in the house, so they know it's your house. Listen, that was the first and last time they, they okay, you got it. Don't ever come back around here again. That's what you gonna say to them. No, I'm not gonna say nothing. I probably uh, just watch them from the sideline. What you doing? Say. You the superhero? Or you I'm not doing cops? nothing in the store. But I, I pick the but store. But that situation happened though. No, what it's, situation? That's not my poison. I, I picked the grocery store. But if that situation happened, what you doing? What situation? The in house. My house. I, it don't matter because I didn't pick the poison. All right, so <laughs> what you say you pick? <laughs> you gonna try to make me answer both sides? That's what you doing? I'm just saying. You trying you to make play, me answer both sides right hero? now? No, you you're playing? trying to make me answer okay. both sides. Is you playing I picked, superhero? I picked, what superhero? Been in the grocery store? Nah. You see somebody rob me a house? Is you gonna play superhero? or Is you calling the police? That's not the biggest poison. You're turning this into Williams poison, and that's not what it All is. All right, man. I'd rather, I'd rather. I ain't trying to be in nobody's store. That's, no. Nah. So you going with the house. So you going you with ain't, you ain't been, You house. ain't been in all these Baltimore City corner stores and all that. That's why you saying that. Yeah. No, I'm saying that because it's talking about, I can be in a part of the store where, Whoa, no, these stores is, 
no bigger than this little area oh, right yeah, here. So you ain't going not... nowhere. No, I am. With the with the big cat and shit, got the window, so yeah. they protect it. It's just you and two old ladies in there. Okay. Talking about, yeah. Okay, it's me and two old ladies, <laughs> and it's you and that robber smacking right into each other when, once they open your door. To hey, you. whatever you take, just be happy because you better never come back around here but again. But he's not going to tell you that because you have a gun in your hand when you leave. <laughs> exactly. Today, I'm okay. definitely not. <laughs> But he gonna know if he come back around here again. <laughs> it's ain't what he it's want. On. Yeah, yeah it's ain't. I, I'm on it now. Mm-hmm, yeah, sure. So, <laughs> moving on to the last segment, guys. It is the GTT time, and you guys know that is girl talk with this girl. So I want to talk about social media versus reality. Cause it be, it's be it be tripping me out. It really do, and I think it's something that needs to be talked about. I'm tired of not talking about it. Let's talk about the elephant in the room: social media versus reality. I think it match up. No, it don't. Because reality it, no, is fake now. No, but this is the thing. What I mean by that is, if it wasn't posted, it didn't happen. So if I didn't post you taking me to dinner on my birthday, you didn't give me nothing for my birthday. Why does that if matter? If I didn't post, to then who? we got engaged. This is how people think, though. To the world, to your followers. You have people that reenact their engagement just to post it on social media. Word. Yeah, like that's what I'm saying. I can see that. People put on makeup just to say they just pushed their baby out and they still look good. No, you put the makeup on. You know what I mean? And it's just like, if you didn't post But it, that's it reality, happen. though. That's reality. That's what really happened. That's why I say they match up. All that fakeness going on on Instagram is the reality of what's going on. The reality of... I don't, you got to elaborate on that one for me. So... If you don't post your food at a restaurant, <laughs> it means you never went to that restaurant before. People feel like they have to post up just to sh- so people know that these moments happened in their life. As they're happening, they don't wait. It has to go down at the moment <laughs> it's happening. Like, people have to really post what they're doing. And who is these people that's watching these people do these things? Um... People who are not celebrities that care about celebrities' <laughs> lives. <laughs> yeah, see? Yeah, that's what it is. Like, I think it matters. Or up. people who want to be celebrities. Everything. I have some of those on my friends list. They you know, want to be celebrities. <laughs> reality is your own to determine. It definitely is. So. But, okay, so why do we have to post? So why do people feel as though if they don't post things, they did not happen in life, though? That's I don't know who these people are yeah, that you're talking about, yeah. You never met, you never seen your friends list and they just going off about stuff that you really don't give a shit about? Like you don't what? see that on Facebook? No. So you have people to talk about amazing things on your timeline. That's great. <laughs> That's what's up. I want your friends. I ain't gonna start Because I see a lot of boring, dumb, and annoying stuff. Like, if you go to the hospital, I need everybody to know I went to the hospital. I be in my arm. I'm not feeling well today. I'm feeling sick. But that's reality, though. That's their reality. That they're in the hospital and they want us to know that they're in the hospital. Yes. Why yes. do we need to know that? Do you see all the comments? Sometimes they get a comment Sometimes from somebody. Sometimes they don't get none. I know, but. A lot of them don't get that's none. That's why they chancing it. You throw that up there, maybe somebody hit you from 13 some years ago. Views. They want to just get views. Views, that's, all that. Yeah. Talk. Like some, it's some people won't be one to be seen. You know, it's a lot of mental health issues out here, too. Some people just need people to talk to, and that's probably the only way for them to communicate. As long as it's not negative, right? If they show themselves that in is the house. negative. How? You sick. You I mean, you sick, to. but people should know that. So if you Text, pass away, um, I mean, text them on the phone, call them on the phone, hit them on the phone. You <laughs> so, know what I mean? So like, so what should we, get posted on social media? What should get posted on social media? Yes. Positive things, words of affirmation, things like that. People motivating you with business. Nothing negative. Nothing messy. So if you was to get into any type of any type situation, I was never to go to social media to wish you well. Or anything. What do you mean? Like, so if I was sick? Anything. Yeah, you can. You can do that. So but I feel like it's the same thing. When like, in the hospital? Oh, I'm in the hospital. Sorry if I didn't answer your calls or, you know, no. like, please pray for me. Say, write a status. That's why they even give you the, they let you do status, but people want to put the picture too. That, um, <laughs> right. I'm, so, I'm saying, doing too much. You don't need the picture and the status. Just write the status. Man, so now we got social media regulating the building, ladies I'm and just them. saying. That's why I don't really be on there much because you people annoy me. That's because I feel like it match up. Fake is the no, new real. That's so fake. everything that's that the they're problem. going on that's there. The fake is not the new real, but it has become to fake people. Hey. Because for some reason. Once you accept it, you'll get along more. And no, I'm not going to accept it because I'm not fake. Hey, that's why I, I stay in my own bubble. Stay. And that's fine. People can be fake all they want. You just annoy me. You fake people annoy me. That's <laughs> it. That's all I'm saying. Screw it mm-hmm. up. 
Um, but yeah, I, I just feel like um, the whole new reality as far as like people wearing the filters and people, you're like lying, right? Like when you use the filter, is that like lying? Uh, is that considered Some tricking? of them like filters cool. Catfishing? Like See, I used to fishing? I used to think just like you a little bit, yeah. But now I just eased up a little bit. Just let people live. Yeah? They can live. I'm just having a conversation. Is that catfishing? What filters? Yeah, is that catfishing? <laughs> a little bit. It is right? a little bit. Catfishing. That is but I hate catfishing. Think catfishing though. That's the problem. So you should never take a picture with without your eye. You feel me? You can't have your lashes in. You can't right. have no. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to bring more naturalness into the world again. Mm. Like where's those Aaliyahs and um, okay. you know women from back in the day that was natural. But they you, didn't need all the makeup. Shout out to Alicia Keys. What about the things like, that she did, was involved in? Who? So can mm-hmm. you be natural and be involved? In- yeah, I don't care about none of that. I'm just talking about representing <laughs> okay. your natural, authentic self. Okay, like accepting yourself and not falling into this new reality of being superficial. Uh, what about the being old famous? reality of old men taking advantage of up and coming <laughs> singers? That's still going on. That's okay. another topic. We could talk about okay. that next week. Don't get deep. Okay. <laughs> that. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. You thinking, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. But um yeah, I'm gonna just end this really with just saying don't let fake people make you feel crazy for being real. Cause this is getting out of hand. And somebody gotta say something, and I'll be the one. Mm. For real. Go ahead, sister Gaff. Cause y'all doing too much. You got people putting on filters. I say do what you want to do. Because, listen, cause do if you don't want shit do. out there, then you can unblock them, unfollow them. If what? What are you saying? You can block them. What? Who? Unfollow them. Who? Whoever you don't want to see, whoever It's not about not wanting to see them. It's about this fake world making girls feel like they got to be fake. But too. that's the new real world. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Just because you can't no, accept the fact ladies, that. No, ladies, the ones who still want to be your authentic self, don't let these fake people bring you down into the fake world. Stay out of the sunken place. <laughs> I agree, but I don't even, they don't even know who you're talking to because fake is the new real. So when you say the real, the fake one, the fake girl is like, yeah, she's talking to me. That's what I'm saying. Everything is the girls like it, the natural fake, girls. I my, not me personally. Now, in my opinion, they losing and the uh, girls are getting all the plastic yeah, surgery. Right? That's what I'm saying. So okay. we're trying to bring it back. That's my point of today's girl talk. We bring okay. it back. That's Where why I match them? up. That's why I match up though. Right. So if they went in in real life, they went in on a fake Instagram and all that. That's why I say it match up. That's the yeah, new reality. But that's the, that's this is the funny thing. Okay, look, all these people that we talking about that look good now and all that stuff, follow them in 15, 20 years and watch how their bodies just transform in front of you. Man, we pray that all of them. <laughs> we pray that all age of them gracefully. To see when everything starts transforming too. <laughs> Terrible. She be waiting on y'all downfall out there. Y'all better I want to see it because if you bragging about the good stuff, <laughs> let me see the bad. <laughs> I'm just saying. Golly. Keep it real though. Ain't no judgment. I'm just saying if you want to put what? it on social media. That's pre-judgment. You okay. waiting 15 years for a recap on how their plastic surgery turned out. Yeah. <laughs> That's plenty of judgment. And I think they should... If they're going to still be trying to make this the new real, they need to show young girls who are considering this what happened to them over the okay. 30, 40 years. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, because that's like, keeping it real, too. Continue to be the yeah, like, person, Yeah, you right? see all that that I had back yeah. in the day? You're going to look like this now. You're going to be all deflated. Yeah. Because you got to think about, like, shout out to little Kim, though. But, like, just getting your... Uh, about to throw the, some shots. No, I'm not. We about- getting plastic surgery and stuff done. <laughs> <laughs> Keep throwing shots. Getting plastic surgery and stuff done, and it just starts transforming you. And little Kim was beautiful. She still But you is. know, she fell into the fake reality. <laughs> and now she's probably sitting there like, why did I do this? I know, life? right? That's the part that really, yeah, I feel like they really ha- be like, yes. like why, what did I do? One too many, then you try to reverse that one. And you can't. Oh. That's hard. It takes a great doctor, and most of the time they don't find them. Mm, that's the part that really hurt though like you have an insecurity so bad that you need plastic surgery and, and then you get it, it and, and then it don't it's, fix it cause it's like uh, it's almost like a tattoo it's like they get one thing and they just want to keep going and going and going mm-hmm. and it's like they don't stop word up looking crazy uh huh and why does everybody want this skinny nose situation I don't know what's up with that a lot of female celebrities want to go and get their nose done and then the white celebrities want to get lip fillers and cheap you know what? This is 
it's about to be a whole nother conversation because it just makes me <laughs> I don't get it. Everybody wants to be the other person, but everybody talks about everybody. So I don't get it. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, yeah. Um, guys, thanks for tuning in. This has been a dope episode with me and the hubs. Reasons. If you guys haven't already, like I said in the beginning, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh -huh. Make sure you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Yeah, it is. Drop your comments on the segments that you enjoyed. And should I do that again? No, uh, he was good. Yeah. Make sure you drop the comments on the segments you enjoyed. <laughs> and again, and again, and again, and again. Turn on your post notification. Hit the subscribe button. Until next time. Hey, y'all, baby. Bye. Uh -huh.